What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the top five hidden features inside the 2021 Chevy Blazer. Now, if you guys have never seen my top five hidden features video series before, I'll have a playlist linked above. But in this series, we kind of try and deep dive into some of the menus or find little Easter eggs on the vehicle that you may not know about. These are meant to inform people and give you the most comprehensive overview of every single little thing that your new vehicle has to offer. So if you do know about these features, that's awesome. Leave it down in the comments below. I'm happy for you guys. But keep in mind that not everybody does. And just because you are well informed does not mean that everybody is. Please keep that in mind before you leave a hateful comment. Also, it's important to keep in mind we are looking at the RS blade laser, so some features may vary. But let's get started with number one, and that is you can actually change the display theme of your digital display cluster. So how you're gonna wanna do this is obviously turn your car on, and then you're gonna wanna use the navigation buttons on the steering wheel here. So you're gonna press the left arrow right here, scroll down to the settings button, then you kind of want to scroll through until you find display theme. Go ahead and click that, hit the right arrow, and then you'll get two different display themes, sport and touring. Now, most blazers will have the default sport theme, and that's just going to put your big, you know, gauge in the middle with your uh, speed. And then you can actually change what's inside of it to be media or things like that. But you also have touring, and I prefer touring, so I usually set it to that when I'm in here. But that just gives you a more clean display empty space in the middle for whatever you want to customize and put in there. And then you've got your speed as an actual number represented at the top. Just a nice clean layout. I prefer that over the kind of traditional analog looking sport theme. Sticking with the technology side, number two is you can actually adjust the settings of the rear view mirror camera. Now, many of you may know that you do have a rear view mirror camera on higher trimmed blazers. So you can switch it with this little switch right here between just a standard rear view mirror and then a digital kind of camera view on the rear view mirror here. But what you may not know is that you can adjust it using these controls right here. So if you go ahead and hit the controls, you can switch between three different adjustable settings, the brightness of the screen, the zoom level of the screen, and then the actual tilt angle of the screen. And I find this extremely useful, especially the zoom one, because that's my biggest problem with rear view mirror cameras is they're too zoomed in for me and they don't look natural. You can fix this to a degree. So you'll wanna hit the first button here and that'll let you switch between the different settings. So first one obviously is brightness. You can adjust that with the other two buttons, raise it up, bring it back down, whatever you prefer, whether it's day or night. And if you can hit that to hit okay, it'll switch automatically to zoom. You've got three levels of zoom, so a really zoomed in, you know, a medium zoom, and then kind of the widest angle. I prefer the widest angle, so I'll leave it at that. And then you can actually change the tilt angle. So if it's a little bit too low and you, you know, want to boost that up, you can do that really, really easily right there. Or if you want to see a little bit more of the ground, you can put that right back down. So super useful, super handy ability to customize that. I always do it whenever I get in one of these vehicles that has a rear view mirror camera because like I mentioned, the zoom is just too much for me. So that is awesome to be able to do. Now, as I mentioned, I like to dig through the settings and find some kind of hidden adjustments that you can make. There aren't a ton here on the Blazer, especially compared to some other models I've looked at where there's just a plethora of additional features hidden in the settings, but there are a couple. Now, one of them that is awesome is Teen Driver Mode. Now, Teen Driver Mode basically allows you to set a passcode and then set restrictions on your vehicle. So if you have a, a child that you want to allow to drive the car, but you, you know, want to be more protective of the things they're able to do, the radio volume, the speed the vehicle can go, all kinds of things like that. You can set it inside the teen driver mode menu. So if we go to settings, go to vehicle, scroll down, you'll see teen driver. We can go ahead and click that, hit continue, and it will make you set a pin. So I'm just going to set one, two, three, four, boom, confirm it. And then once a pin's set up, it's going to ask you to register a key fob. So you'll take one of your two key fobs and you'll put it inside the first cup holder and then hit set up keys and it will register that key fob as the teen driver key. Then going forward, whenever that key fob is used to start the vehicle, it will automatically be in teen driver mode. Now you can clear this if you want to and it's all you know in your control. But when a teen does use the car, drives it, all that kind of good stuff takes place, you can go into view report card. It'll give you distance driven, max speed, how many times they went over speed, uh, how many times they did wide open throttle, forward collision alerts, traction control alerts, uh, anti-lock brake system active, tailgating alerts, all kinds of very detailed information about how that drive went. You can also go into the settings and put on a speed limiter, put on an audio volume limiter, all kinds of stuff. So a lot of people have had negative reactions to that saying helicopter parent and things like that. Stop. 
there is nothing more important than safety, especially when driving a car and being able to manage and monitor teens who have less developed brains. It's important to be able to do that. It's a great feature. One other cool feature I found inside the settings is the ability to have remote window control. Now this isn't anything special or new necessarily, but it's not enabled by default. So if you go into the settings, go to vehicle, go to remote lock, unlock and start, scroll down, you will get remote window operation. It's gonna allow you to put your windows down on like a hot day or something like that using the key fob. Let's take a look. So super cool feature to have. Definitely go ahead and enable that anytime you get a new blazer, just in case it's hot outside during the summer, you wanna roll those windows down, things like that. You can also go in this menu and adjust your remote start settings. So if it's during the winter, you wanna enable remote start auto heat seats. You can do that right in here. So whenever you use remote start, your climate control will not only kick on, but your seats will start warming up. Also, if it's during the summer and you want the opposite, you can enable auto cool seats as well. So whenever you remote start your car, your seats will automatically cool down. So some really awesome hidden features in the remote start menu. We've only got two hidden features left. And the last one I wanna take a look at inside here is actually something a little goofy. It's not crazy cool or anything like that, but it could be handy. If you don't wanna store all your documents inside the glove box, Inside the center console, there's actually a little clip. So it's right here underneath the little center console thing. So you could take something, some kind of documents, insurance cards or registration or something like that. And if it's, uh, you know, the right dimensions, <laughs> you can slide it. And this is not the right dimensions, but, you know, something smaller, fold it down here. You can clip it right in here under the center console and then boom it's right there for easy access. So something kind of cool. I don't know. I haven't seen that many other places. And I said five features, but of course I'm going to give you a sixth bonus feature. And this is more just a kind of visual Easter eggs that you may or may not know about. So let's hop outside and take a look at those. So here on the outside, there are a couple little details that Chevy added that you may not have noticed at first glance. First of which is this front fascia bit here that angles up towards the headlights. It's actually shaped like a stingray. So it kind of gives you those, you know, Corvette, vibes uh, from back in the day and the more modern 2020 Stingray. Really cool kind of detail that they didn't have to add, but it's definitely a nice way to tie the brand back together. So really cool look right there with the Stingray. And also on these very low profile daytime running lights here, which look really sleek, very aggressive and Camaro-esque, there is a tiny little Chevy bow tie right on the lights there. So just another little detail they didn't have to add, but it's a cool one that they did. So the last little hidden feature here on the Blazer is actually on the tail light. There's a couple different things. First of all, these taillights have a very similar kind of look to that Stingray up front. It's not as pronounced, but it's definitely, you can tell they're going for that kind of direction. And also there's a tiny little Chevy bow tie right here in the tail light. And when it's actually lit up, it stands out as its own little illuminated Chevy bow tie. So really cool. Here's a shot of it in the dark. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Drop a like on the video if you loved it. Tell me in the comments down below which is your favorite hidden feature that we talked about or did I miss one? Let's have a conversation down in the comments and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be among the first to see every single new video the second I hit publish. We'll see you in the next one.